Um, I'm setting the, milli the, the spot size, the millimeters, and the hertz uh, for treatment. I'm increasing the energy with it's a boost um, to increase the energy that's transmitted through the um, with the laser for the treatment. So the boost will cause an even shorter pulse duration, which increases the shock wave effect on the tattooing, correct? Right, when it's seeking the pigment of the ink. Okay. And now the laser is warming up still or adjusting? It's, it's adjusting um, its energy to those parameters that were given to me by Dr. Langdon. But I'm going directly over the pigment and you can hear where it's louder, the beam, the laser wavelength is seeking the pigment of the ink. So where it's where there's less concentration of the ink, it is less loud, so it's softer. So I want to make sure, because you of course know the image better than anyone. You wanted me to get the little dots. I remember yes, you please. mentioning that. And how Did about the, uh, the pain at this point? Are you... No or? pain at all. Okay. So I think I got everything. It's very, very light when it comes to the reaction of your skin. It's not very pink um, because there's not a large concentration of the ink. That's it. Thank you. But you're just going to have a little bit of a pink where I went over the image and it will recover in a couple hours. Okay. Um, you can leave it open to air and it should be fine. You haven't you haven't had any blisters no. in the past so therefore I, I assume that you will not have any this time either. No. Thank okay. you. Yeah. So we're just doing a, a uh, image of the tattoo after before and after several treatments.